on sites users. So let's assume that you want to create a GIF. Uh, maybe you've got a video or a slideshow presentation or whatever it happens to be that you want to use to create a short GIF uh, to include in your phone sites funnel. Either you're going to set it as the background or you're going to have it as uh, just a, a GIF that's in the, you know, the, the center portion of your phone sites funnel, right? So it's really simple to create a GIF. There's a number of um, options out in the marketplace you can use to create the GIF. I know if you have a Mac, you can download an app from Giphy.com. I actually have it um, installed right here. We're going to use that here in a second. So if you were to go to Giphy.com forward slash apps forward slash Giphy capture, and I'm sure you could just, uh, you could Google it. You could just search for like Giphy app or something like that. But um, anyways, you can download that from the App Store. Uh, I'm not sure if they have this for Windows. Um, I do know that there is another option out there that you can use called Screen to GIF. I've used this both on Windows and Linux. So you can certainly do that. You can download it, add it, and it works pretty much the same. Now, with Screen to GIF, you can actually save the, the video as both um, a GIF or a, a video, right? So they're both pretty cool, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to use Giphy because I already have this installed on my uh, my MacBook, okay? And I'm just going to ignore screen to GIF for now, and I'm going to go back over here to this video, and let's capture um, Amy Stuman um, talking to Harold. And so I'm just going to expand this over this image, or over this video a little bit right here, and... Let's see, let's move that over just so I can make sure that I can hit the, the play button. So I'm gonna go ahead and push play. Uh, good morning. Do you want Harold? Well, we need to talk because- And let's stop the video. So I just wanted to really capture the, the portion of where Amy's saying, what the fuck do you want, Harold? So that's good enough for this GIF. Um, that's kind of a long video that I kind of created there. So we can, we can cut out all of the groaning that Ryan is doing in the background there. Um, okay. And then the next option then would be, we, we, I mean, we'd be able to go in and edit this. So I clicked into my GIF there. So you can see it's, how long is it? It's almost 10 seconds long. We don't need 10 seconds of, of this. Cause she only comes in at the, like the last two seconds. So I could like decrease this a little bit. We got it down to like five seconds, right? And then I could add in some text in there too. So, um, I mean, I could change in like the loop type and and all that kind of good stuff. I could go into captions and then add in my captioning. Let's just move that over so you can see. I could change the color here. Something like that. And let's see here. Let's see if I can wrap the text. There we go. So we can make that fit on there. And I could change the size too. Right now it's medium. I could change that to small if I want to. That looks good. Okay. Um, that looks good to me. I'm done. Let's go back to options here. And then save as. So I could go ahead and save this locally on my machine. Right. And then I can also upload this into Giphy. And once I have it uploaded into Giphy, then um, I'm not actually going to do that, but I can upload it into good, get, up, upload it into Giphy. And then um, I would have a URL that I could use that Giphy would provide to me that I could begin to share this all over Facebook and social media if I want to. Right. But since I saved this locally, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into phone sites and upload this and then um, I can use it in my funnel. Right. So let's go ahead and do that. So. Uh, I'll just use this tab here and let's go to phonesites.com. Let's go into the dashboard here and let's go into that funnel. And let's see here. I'll just create a new page. Good enough. Let's select, let's go with the black background here. And I'll use this image block here. So I'm going to go ahead and click into the gallery selector here. I don't know why I scroll down there. Upload image, upload Herald. 
And so Harold's going to show up down here in a second. I can get rid of Giphy because I don't need that anymore. Go away, Giphy. All right, so now we've got our GIF in there. And I'm going to go ahead and select that. Select Insert. And let's change the size here. Make that large. Select Save. Let's go ahead and view this. All right, so there we go. We've got our, um, our GIF in there. And let's go back. I'm going to make a change here. What do I want to do? Um, I'm going to go ahead and remove this image. And now I'm going to set this as my background. In case you're not sure that you, you can do this. You can use a GIF as a background. I'm not saying that you should do this. I'm just saying you can. The reason why I'm saying you probably shouldn't, though, is because uh, the more complex your background is, the harder it is for someone to be able to read this. So that, that looks like that doesn't look very good at all. <laughs> uh, it's just because of the resolution of the GIF that I created there. Let's refresh this. Yeah, so that's terrible. But anyways, you get the point. You can set a, a GIF in there. Um, I certainly have used other GIFs that look way better than this. I don't know if I actually have in the gallery any other GIFs in here. I think I got rid of the other one that I was using. We could use this one. Let's use that and go back. Select that, select insert, select save, and then let's go view, let's refresh and view. So this looks a little bit better. It's still kind of fuzzy over there, but uh, it has better, better resolution. So the GIF will look fine, somewhat fine anyways. Um, if we go and I'll just show you how this is gonna look on mobile. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to inspect here. And so I can toggle between different devices here. So there's desktop mode. There's uh, mobile mode. So I can show you like what this is going to look like between iPhone 6, 7, and 8 versus Pixel 2 XL in terms of the sizing layout and everything, and iPad Pro and so forth. So you get the point. So if you've always wanted to create a GIF and use that for your phone sites funnel, it's as simple as just using one of these apps from either Giphy or um, screentogif.com or some other option out there and then uploading it into phone sites.